This is problem number one from section 4-6. says a rectangular plot of farmland will be bounded on one side by a river and on the other three sides by a single strand electrical fence. With 2,200 feet or meters of wire at your disposal, what is the largest area you can enclose and what are its dimensions? So we are looking for the area We're looking for the length and the width. And we're looking for the area, length, and width for a rectangular piece of farmland. On one side, it's got the river. So I'm just going to label this the river side. And the rest is fencing. So we'll just say fence, fence, fence. Now obviously they're asking us for the length and the width so let's go ahead and label those. Uh, we're going to label those this is the width, this is the width, this is the length. So it gives us some stuff in the problem. It says 2200 feet, uh, meters of wire. Well that's going to be used to go around the outside. So that's a perimeter equation. So we can say the uh, perimeter is going to equal uh, w plus W, which is 2W plus L. The area of this is obviously length times width, so area is going to equal length times width. Now we've done problems where we've, uh, we've gone through and we found the maxes and minimums uh, of different functions. So well, how do we find the maxes and minimums of different functions? Well, what we do is we take the derivative of that function, we set it equal to zero so that our slope of that, of that uh, derivative function is zero. So we are looking for, basically we're looking for the spot where this function, let's say we have a parabola, we're looking for the spot where our tangent line has a slope of zero. Because if our tangent line has a slope of zero, then we know we have a maximum. Or if the parabola is facing the other way, and we had a tangent line here, our slope would be zero, that'd be a minimum. In our case, they want to find the largest area. So we want to maximize area, meaning we're going to use the area equation. We're going to take the derivative of it and set it equal to zero to find its maximum. All right? Now, how do we go about doing that? Well, we're going to take our perimeter equation along with our area equation, and we're going to uh, combine those together using systems of equations. So they give us 2200 meters of wire. So we can say that the perimeter is 2200 equal to 2w plus l. So I'm going to solve for l this time. It doesn't really matter which one you do. But I'm going to solve for, solve for l and then plug it into this equation. So let's subtract the 2w. That's 2200 minus 2w equals L. Plug this into this equation, you get the area equals 2200 minus 2W times W. I can distribute that W and I get 2200W minus 2W squared and you'll notice what do we have here? We have a parabola and this is a downward facing parabola and so we can find the maximum. We're going to actually take the derivative of this function. We're taking the derivative with respect to w. So when we take the derivative, we get a derivative of the area with respect to w is equal to uh, 2200, bring the two to the front, minus 4w. Now, what do we do next to find our, maxes, our, our maximums? We set uh, the der the derivative equal to zero. So we're going to say zero equals 2200 minus 4w. Subtract the 2200 over, you get negative 2200 equals negative 4w. Divide by negative 4 and w equals 550. So 550 meters. 
So our width, our maximum width, is 550 meters. That's the width that's gonna help maximize uh, our area. All right, so this is the, if you wanna think about our x value, this is the x value of our coordinate. So I can go up here and say that that is actually equal to 550 meters. What's the length then? Well, I already have an equation right here which will give me the length. So I'm gonna say L equals 2200 minus two times 550. Well, 550 times two is 1100. 2200 minus that, that's 1100 for the length. So we can call this the 1100 meters. So now we know the width and the length, which is the two of the dimensions they ask us for, right? Shorter dimension, longer dimension. And they want us to uh, figure out the area. Well, we know the area is length times width, so we're going to take five, or, uh, 1,100, and we're going to multiply it times 550, and that gives us 605,000 meters squared. So this is actually equal to... 605,000 meters squared. And so that's how you maximize your area uh, for a rectangle. And it's basically the same process each time.